What's going on, you guys? Mr. Allen here. So we have ourselves a little bit of true or false here with two super fun functions. We have f of x has only imaginary zeros, and then g of x has a table of values there showing us what's going on with that one. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. So let's take a look here. So only imaginary zeros. Those always come in pairs. Let's remember that, okay? G of x over here, if we look at our output values, I see some symmetry going on. So I'm looking at perhaps an even degree function here. Um, so it's also going up by, it looks like, by 2 here and then by 6 here. By 2 here and by 6 here. Now a quadratic, when it has no lead coefficient, or lead coefficient of 1 rather, would go up by 1 and then by 3 and then by 5. If it has a lead coefficient of 2, then it's going to go up by 2, then by 6, then by 10. So it's looking like we have a quadratic over there. So now let's start answering some questions here and read through them now that we got a general idea of what these two functions are bringing to the table here. f of x and g of x both have even degrees. Well, since imaginary zeros always come in pairs, we're either dealing with like a degree of 2, a 4, a 6, whatever. So that's definitely even. We already said that's going to be a quadratic over there due to the nature of our output values. So we have a true for this bad boy right here. Woo! All right. Love it. G of X is concave down. Hmm. Let's see here. If my values, my Y values, it looks like they start at the lowest here, and then they're only going up. So I'm probably looking more like that this guy is going to be uh, going up like that, up like a cup, right? Lowest value right there that looks to be my vertex, and then there's symmetry about that. So I think it's going to be concave up, so this one here is false. That's why. All right, next one. The degree of f of x must be larger than g of x. Must. Must be larger. Well, hold up. I could have imaginary zeros and only have two of them, which would make it a quadratic, right? So it could be larger, but it's not must be larger. So we're going to have to say false for this one. But for some stipulation, like we could, f of x could be a larger degree, right? It could be. It could be a degree of four, could be a degree of six, eight, any even degree there, okay? Last one, g of x is an even function. Not even degree function, we already established that it is, but even, meaning symmetry. Well, this one right here, we got 0, comma, negative 4. And I'm going to use this bad boy right here. 0, comma, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are looking like we are sitting right there, right, for my vertex. It's sitting on that y-axis, right? Well, if it's sitting on that y-axis, it has symmetry over that y-axis. So g of x is going to be an even function. It's got that symmetry that is dope, true, false, false, true, to man, that was fun. That was dope. That was awesome.